Okay, so finally, all we need to do is to animate these characters one by one here. Now, there is a plugin that Greensock has called Split Text Animation. Unfortunately, for the both of us, it's paid. So if you go here to GSAP Products, um, should be somewhere here, the Club Greensock, okay? So they have specific plugins that are paid. They're really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. So if we go here to view features, uh, there's draw SVG plugin, which is really cool, morph SVG. So essentially you could take two SVG shapes and just add a from two, and it's gonna transition to it like this. I think they have an example down here and here we go. So essentially you take a circle SVG and you morph SVG and you just add the other SVG and boom, you get the full on animation, like that simple kind of stuff really really awesome and they also have one called split text uh, which essentially let me go back to it uh, lets you animate characters in one by one um where was that example let me let me see if i can here we go so let's see let's scroll down here to an example stuff like this right just animating in character by character uh but since it's paid uh we're gonna do it in we're gonna do it for free. We're gonna do it vanilla style by flexing our JavaScript skills, essentially. So let's go over to our code here. Uh, I'll pop open my VS Code here and the Chrome thing, and let's get going. Okay, so essentially what I wanna do is, let's go down here, and I'll add a little comment called split text alternative. Now, if you have the dough and you wanna spend it, you don't need to do this, but here we go. So essentially what I'm gonna do is grab the logo. I'm gonna do a document.query selector. Grab the logo like that. And what I wanna do is basically split up all the characters in here. So uh, S-K-I-N-C-A-R-E dot, right? So one way we can do that is I'm gonna make a const letters here and say logo.textContent. Now what text content does is literally it gives you the text because document the query selector just grabs the DOM node basically, DOM element. So text content grabs the actual text from the H2 or H1. And on this, I can add a split with some empty parentheses in here. And that's essentially gonna split up all the characters um, and add them to an array. So if I console log out letters now, and hit save, let's go back here. I'm gonna view inspect element and just go over to console. As you can see, it gives us an array with all the characters split. Perfect. So now all we need to do is loop over each letter. So I'm gonna say letters dot for each and in here, I'll have access to each individual one. So if I do a console long letter, hit save. Let me open this one up again. So take a look at that. So it's like a loop that loops over each character. Boop, 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 like that. What I wanna do here is say logo.innerHTML, set that equal to, and what I'm gonna do is do uh, backticks, which is command, uh, well, let me see where my backticks are. Actually, we can just do normal quote marks, that's fine too. I'm gonna add a span in here, like this, with a class of letter, like that. Now, actually, that causes us issues, right, because we have the quotation marks. So we can switch this to a single one, like that, and that's gonna be fine. So span class letter, and here I'm just gonna add a plus symbol, like that. I'm gonna add the letter in, right? So the S, K, I, the skincare, one by one. And then I'm gonna add another plus and just close up that span, like that. Okay, let's take a look what that did. If we go to, over to elements and inspect that logo, we just have the dot. Now, why is that? As you can see, just the dot. Well, we're essentially looping through it and updating it every time we loop over it. So we go through the loop, we set the logo inner HTML to S first, and then when it does another loop, it 
gets rid of the S and just changes it to the K. So what we can do is we can add a plus symbol here before the equal sign, which is going to add them together. So now when we hit save, as you can see, we have two skin cares. So if we go over to console and look at this, so we have our original one and we have another one that is generated with spans. So that's really cool. So now essentially what we need to do is get rid of the original one. So that's quite simple. We just need to do logo.textContent, set it equal to an empty pair of strings, and that's going to get rid of the original one and just keep the one with the spans like that. Perfect. So again, what we're doing is we're grabbing the letters and then we're clearing the actual HTML, H1, and then we're 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 adding it down here uh, with the spans. Okay, super cool. So now all we need to do is, first of all, I need to set, do a gsap.set in here and grab all the letters. So all the all the elements that have a letter class, which we just generated, and add a display of inline block to them. Inline block. And again, the reason why we're doing this is we cannot animate the height. So if we do Y and we want to move it up and down, it's not going to work with a span. So always change the display size on them. So inline block. Okay. So after we do that, now all we need to do is do a GSAP from two and then grab the letters. So let's do, actually, we don't even technically need to do these in here. We can just do it outside because we don't need to loop over them. GSAP is going to grab the, all the letters off the page. So it might be actually a better idea to do it outside here. So let's paste that down there and then do a GSAP from two. And if I do dot letter here, it should just grab all of them. And I'll do Y30 to a Y zero. Okay. Now that's going to do it all at the same time. So let's see if that works. So as you can see, all of them have an inline block and it, it animates. It's just, we cannot see it because of the image. So we'll add a small delay to this delay of two seconds. And there we go. Moves up. Now it doesn't do it individually. So each individual letter. So all we need to do is add a stagger to it. Let's do a stagger of 0 0.1, for example, and hit save. Doop, 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 doop. And there you go. That's the way to do it. Um, I'll lower the stagger. I'll do 0 0.05 or so and hit save. Troop. And there we go. How simple is that? Just use a split on it and then generate spans and then you can animate it one by one. I found that to be quite an easy solution. Uh, I think it looks quite good. So let's see what else we can do here. Um, since these are spans now, so this H1 here, right? We can add an overflow hidden to it um, to make the text pop up out of nowhere. So let's go up to the logo and just add an overflow hidden. Hit save. Let's see. Refresh. That's actually a H1, I believe. Where did I add the overflow hidden? Did I do it here? I think this also needed overflow hidden anyway. Let me see the logo. Here we go. Overflow hidden. Hit save. And there we go. Look at that. Roop. Nice pop in effect. Lovely. So let's optimize this a bit more. I think we can just go over here. Let's see if this works. If we do a Y of 100% and hit save. Let's see, does that, yeah, that seems to be working just nicely. Okay, so we'll do from Y minus 100% to zero. Oh, my apologies. Let me pull up the code here. Actually, I haven't done it. I did it on my other screen, unfortunately. Yeah, overflow hidden, that's good. I did it on my other screen. I'm like, why is that not working? <laughs> so overflow hidden there. And uh, let's see here. Why 100% here? My apologies. 
<laughs> to then do it on the right screen. That's silly of me. So there we go. And this is the finished one, right? So we're almost there. There we go. Um, boop, boop, boop. What else do we need to do? Let's make this staggering. We'll keep the stagger. Let's add a different ease to it. I found this ease back out tree look, looks pretty good. It does a bounce. See, it kind of bounces a bit above and then comes down. Looks a bit cartoony, but I do like it. Looks quite funny. Perfect. So that's about it. We fixed up everything. Animation has been taken care of. Maybe this font size can be changed a bit smaller, this logo. Maybe something like 0 0.8. Oh, maybe one. It's too small. There we go. Just to make it a bit more. There we go. That's quite cool. I like that. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little episode. Hope everything was clear. Let's move on to our next chapter. See you there.